among this 66 mile stretch of tree lined river. All you hear in its crisp, fresh waters is the river's ripple. Until the swamp boat of the self proclaimed river rat passes through his regular river route. The river's just most, uh, it's, it's, it's back to nature, totally back to nature. Barry Frick grew up on, lives, and owns 17 acres of land around the Lynch's River. When we started with river rats, one of our goals was to see how many people we could get on the river. Got a good grip on your paddle? His passion is reflected like through his business. We've always felt that the more people we had viewing the river, the more chance we had of saving the river and trying to protect it and keep it clean. So Barry teamed up with Holly Boumier. But Holly has had a, been a, a leading role in getting all of this done. To use history in his favor. Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox, during the Revolutionary War, he spent a little under a year, I believe, in this area, um, hitting the British with guerrilla warfare tactics. And this river leads into those swamps where he was hiding out. Like the cunning Swamp Fox before him, the river rat knew the story soaked among these trees would protect this sanctuary. They came in and said, this is so pristine, so awesome, and the, the story behind it is just amazing. A scenic river approval and revolutionary river registry later. Okay, Barry. I'll see if I can get this sign up now. Is getting more people out on the river to stay on the river. If we can get people in it 30 weekends a year this year, we'll really feel like we've done good. The first campsite is open. Barry's first dream, built on his land, has come true. It just warms my heart to see people enjoying it. And in true river rat fashion, life is good. You can only get to it by the river.